The supercomputer biochip has become independent and is out of control. They now control us. Look at the size of that thing. This is Cyberlip on the Neo Geo MVS system from 1990. Let's fire it up and see how it compares to later games in the genre such as Metal Slug. Now that's the sound you want to hear when you fire up your arcade cabinet. Cyberlip! So, what happens in Cyberlip? Let's let Mr. President explain. The military android has landed in the old town area. Proceed to that point right away and stop them. You are the last hope. Good luck. Well, there you have it. Androids have gone berserk, and the only solution, as usual, is to shoot the crap Ready, out of all of them. Go. Okay, so as you can see, it's a running gun in the mold of games like Contra and Metal Slug. Um, one thing that's notable is that the game is from 1990, and as such, it's one of the very first Neo Geo games. And I'll be honest here, it's one I have really good memories of playing, so there's a bit of rose-tinted glasses going on here. Which isn't to say that Cyberlip's a bad game, far from it, but it does have its share of issues that keep it from being quite on the same plane as a Contra or a Metal Slug. That you terminated At the same time, I feel like there's enough different about Cyberlip that makes it worthwhile even after you've played those superior games. For one, the game is a bit more of a platformer than those two uh, aforementioned running guns, so it offers a nice change of pace from them. I also really like the strategic use of weapons, and it gives you quite a variety of weapons to use each with their own advantages and disadvantages, and you can switch between them on the fly. Each weapon has limited ammo, so be careful not to overuse one or the other. Stylistically, I feel the game has a lot of charm, because it's like if you took that bright, colorful 80s anime style and fused it with this intentionally cheesy, almost a 50s vibe like Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Look out below. And yes, it says look out below whenever you jump to a railing, which does get old pretty fast. Let's roll! Though I do like the quips between stages such as Lust Roll or Another One Bites the Dust. The environments are often fairly inspired. For example, if you look at the background here, you'll see that we're on this cylindrical space colony. As you can see here, they do reuse some of the bigger enemies quite a bit in this game. And yes, near the end of the game, there's a really, really obnoxious boss rush. But despite that, I do find the enemy patterns to be really engaging. There's really plenty of variety in enemy behavior to go around. As you see here, when you uh, kick the bucket, you respawn in this uh, sort of a speeder bike thing. Uh, looks like one of the bikes out of Akira or something. And you can actually fly around in that for several seconds. For example, if you're in a especially dangerous zone, you might want to stay in it longer and when you're done with it, you just hit the jump button and you hop out. The sound effects and music in this game are okay, they're nothing to write home about, but some of those item get effects or grenade effects, for instance, are way too loud. I mean, I'm sure they wanted you to be able to hear it over the din of the arcade, but it's still overkill. Now, I have a confession to make. I'm actually recording this off MAME, because I don't have a way of directly recording off of my arcade cabinet. Nevertheless, what you see here actually is an accurate representation of Cyberlink. One thing I do appreciate about Cyberlip is the variety of moves you have. 
you have an extra high jump that you can achieve by holding up and hitting the jump button. By hitting down and holding the jump button, you can do a roll, though I don't think you're invincible when you're doing that, but it does help dodge in a pinch. And as I mentioned before, you can change weapons on the fly. Now, the downside, uh, the controls can be a bit stiff and at times unresponsive. I thought it might be my arcade cabinet that was uh, having issues with the buttons, though I have to say in other games they're plenty responsive and in MAME it exhibited the exact same issues as on my cab. Look out below. And that's really a shame because it not only does it mar an otherwise really good running gun, but it makes some of the later levels extremely hard, uh, much harder than they really have to be. Yeah, that reloading screen is really cheesy, and not in a charming, intentional way. Once you get a few levels in, you get the choice between levels to go up or down in the elevator. But guess what? It doesn't seem to actually affect anything. I mean, the next level from this point is always randomly chosen. Uh, if anyone can prove me wrong, let me know. But uh, to my knowledge, it just kind of makes the player feel like they have a choice in the matter, which uh, they don't. So that's Cyberlip. If you've played Metal Slug to death, and you've played Contra, and you want something new for your Neo Geo, but you don't want to bust your wallet, give Cyberlip a shot. You might be surprised. Thank <laughs> you.